So making the pegs for the violin requires some specialized knowledge and some specialized tools. So I've come down to Sebastopol to meet Kalia Kleban, who's going to turn some pegs for us. My name is Kalia Kleban. I am a wood turner and I am happy to be part of the Redwood Violin Project and I am making pegs and the end pin. I'm making them out of manzanita which grows locally here and is a wonderful, hard, very fine-grained wood. It takes a nice polish and it should last for years and years and years. Great. Um, these are some little billets. These will get turned into these. So I start with a little piece of manzanita and what I was looking for is straight grain, oh, no wow. run out, no knots. Wow, for manzanita that's lovely. Yeah, and I'm going to decide which end is the head and which end is the peg and I'm kind of leaning toward this end for the peg because it's just that much straighter. So that end goes into the chuck. This is what holds the wood. It's just like a drill chuck except way freaking bigger. So getting centered, centered. I'm going to hold it on the needle and now I'm going to drive the needle in using the tailstock quill and I'm going to lock. First thing to do is make this round. We'll let the lathe come up to speed and I'm using a uh, detail gouge here. I'm going to size it for the head. And now, I connect the dot. Alright, so what I've got now is a rough cylinder. So I'm going to mark the proportions of the peg. So this shows the head, shaft length, and the position of this little collar right here. That's the underside of the head right there, the bottom of the collar, and the end of the shaft. I'm also going to mark the center line of the head, and I'll show you what that's for in a little bit. First thing to do is size the shaft of the peg. This is the diameter of the top of the shaft. This is the diameter of the bottom. And I'm going to use a parting tool, which is a very narrow chisel, to set those diameters. So I start by just introducing the tool to the wood. There we go. And now I'm going to use the other end. Then again, it's time to connect the dot. So that's the finished diameter, and I'm going to use a flat block to make sure that I don't have any wobbles on it. And now I'm going to size this bit down to the diameter of the collar. All right, now it's time to make these little beads here. I initially tried turning these by hand, but it was a pain in the butt, and I wanted them to all match. So I ended up making a custom tool, and I cut the shape of those little beads into the end of the tool steel. So now I can use this as a scraper and I'll get a matching set of beads every time. The next challenge is to get up under the head. These kind of undercuts are tricky. So I made another tool and this little tool can scoot in under the head and it just scoots by, forms a nice scoop from the top of the uh, topmost bead. Now, I'm going to get rid of this material up here. Something that I found out when I was looking at these and drawing them is that on most of the pegs that you provided me, this is actually a circle. I thought it was an oval, but it's actually a circle. And the bottom edge of the circle for most of these falls right around the center bead. So if you put a circle template there, you'd see it nice and complete. Uh -huh. One of the things about turning a circle is that you want to establish a center line so this is the center line of that roughly 7, 8, 13 inch circle. So I'm going to round over the top and then I'm going to round the bottom and then after that it's just sanding. So what I've got is fairly fine. This is a 320 grit. Fold it over so that gives it some stiffness and then I cut the edge. So with this stiff hard edged little piece of paper I can work in on the same side of each of these three beads and then I do the same thing with 400 grit. Next part of the process is to separate the head from this little chunk of wood here. And that'll enable me to sand the very top of the head. Now this is going to get hand sanded later, but now it's time to part off. Just trim that off with a knife. And there wow. is a roughed peg. Still needs to get shaped on the uh, sander but uh, it is well on its way. Wow, oh, it's beautiful. 
<laughs> really nice detail in there. Fantastic. These are some of the testers and early rejects. I had to make uh, specialty tools for the pegs, and it turns out there was a specialty tool I had to make for the end pin as well. Tail pin, end pin? I'm never going to get it right. Um, this little groove here is very specifically sized for the tail gut. This has to lie in there just right. And I didn't have any tools small enough, so I had to make one. So this is very high tech here. I took a drill bit and I drilled it into a little piece of jatoba and I left it there. And then I flattened off the end and then I rounded the end and presto, a 332nd inch scraper, which is just right for turning the groove in the end pin. <laughs> <laughs> Cheap ass tools, my favorite kind. <laughs> With a reamed hole in it and an arc, stick that in. Then there's a block that it rides against. Uh -huh. And uh, you just rock it, rock it, rock it until this block comes up to this little line. Wow. This makes it a whole lot easier because it's held securely. Uh -huh. It makes it very, very easy to do a nice, consistent break oh, right. around the edge right. of the head. And you've got some wax for me, right? I do. Wow, it's perfect. So, I mean, as far as I understand it, you've not done these before, right? That is correct. Yeah. yeah, I had to figure out the process. Uh -huh. uh, watched a couple videos of people turning loop pegs, which was uh, marginally helpful. Uh -huh. uh, it helped me figure out how not to do certain things, but definitely uh, had to do some problem solving around that undercut and uh -huh. beads. And it was, uh, it's a really enjoyable process. I yeah. love the problem solving. I love figuring out jigs uh -huh. and, and processes, and this has been just a delightful. Wow project well these i mean these are really nice i mean these are just gonna <laughs> set the violin off perfectly i mean you very proud to, to have those on the violin well i'm delighted yeah. to be a part of the project yeah and i gotta thank you for being part of it my pleasure